Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today my son and I have decided that as a part of our homeschooling adventures, we are going to... Um, what are we making? Chai vinegar. Chai flower vinegar, and we thought we would show you how we do it. So come and join us on our adventure. <music> So we absolutely love making vinegar from chive flowers. Um, chives are in the onion family, and onions are incredibly good for you. Sulfur-containing um, foods, they are excellent for your immune system, and we really just love to use everything that we grow around here. But as you can see, the pollinators absolutely love them as well. So we never take all of the flowers. And just in case you didn't know, you can eat chai flowers as well. We love to have them in salads this time of year and you can actually pick off the individual flowers. So all we do is we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut off the chai flowers. Mm -hmm. And you wanna get them as close to the base as you can and then put them in a bowl and that's pretty much it. So do you wanna try cutting off the first one? Mm -hmm. So you wanna go right underneath here all right good work and now you just nope it's okay where did the flower go find the flower and put it in the bowl so we're going to harvest all of our chai flowers and once we get inside we'll show you how easy it is to make a vinegar from these what's so really nice about them is that the color that you get from the end product is this beautiful purple and it's quite a showstopper if you have people over for dinner and you're providing people with a salad we tell, um, why don't we tell everybody why we're cutting so close? Well, mostly that, yeah, that's a great question. So mostly that is so we can save the chives for things like scrambled eggs and salads and all kinds of other things as well. So we're going to get to harvesting and we will bring them inside and show you what to do next. So we're taking a closer look at the anatomy of a chive flower. And what do you notice, bud, when you see it up close? What are you seeing? Is it just one piece? No. Are there lots of individual little flowers inside the flower head? Yes. And so those are the parts that we can actually pull apart and eat. And I already know that you're not going to like the flavor, but you're welcome to try one of the little ones if you'd like. They do have a quite a pungent onion flavor, which makes them really yummy as a substitute for things like red onions and stuff like that in salads. So we're almost done our harvesting, but there you can get a nice ooh, blurry look. Blurry. Yeah, a blurry look at the anatomy of a chive flower. Now, you don't want to do this. Don't do this. Well, you can cut down low if you want, but we just want the flowers for the vinegar. Yes. All right, we're back inside. My assistant is here with me. Yes. And now we're going to be making the chive vinegar. So all I need you to do is put the chives in there. Yeah. Perfect. Question, as you can see, I'm the question asker in this. What's um, your question? Why, why in the world are you, you using vinegar? Ah, that's a great question. We grow a lot of vegetables in our garden, things like spinach and lettuces, kale, arugula, uh, and mustard uh, greens, and we like to eat a lot uh, of. Uh, 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 jump disaster. We like to eat a lot of salads. That's why. Ah. Yeah? Does that answer your question? Yes, and I've got some other tips. Just like, um, salads aren't really salads without salad dressings. And you can <laughs> use this chai vinegar at any time as salad dressings. Now, we'll show you how to make it. You should usually do this. Yeah, first. so first I'll touch a little bit on salad dressings. Um, it's one of the things that we don't really like to buy from the grocery store because they have a lot of ingredients that we're not really big fans of. And in general, the oils and things like that that are used in salad dressings can be rancid by the time you get them. Plus anything that remains shelf stable for that long always makes me question. 
So when you're making homemade salad dressings, one of the ingredients, and they're so easy to do, that's the thing, like I really encourage you if you're not much into cooking from scratch, make your own salad dressings because you really only need two ingredients, oil and a vinegar of some kind. And then you can spice it up by adding, um, you know, pureed fruits or spices, you know, things like oregano and thyme. Oh, where did my assistant go? So we have filled up, or I should say, my son has filled up the jar with our chai flowers. Okay. And um, you can chop them if you choose, but we find that the vinegar works just fine with keeping them whole. Just and then, fine. Yeah, and then all you want to do is add, we like to use raw apple cider vinegar uh, because the raw vinegar has so many wonderful health benefits, um, but you can use any vinegar you would like. And just pour it in. That's it. It usually takes at least a few weeks before you, um, you know, before the chai flavor is really infused into the vinegar. Whenever you're working with vinegar and mason jars, it's really important that you do a barrier um, of, don't spill this apart, please. So before you put your lid on, it's really important that you use a barrier of some kind. So I often like to use parchment paper and I'm just gonna grab that now. So I'll just cut off a small square of parchment paper. Oh, and um. And put that on top. So that's gonna prevent the vinegar from eating away the metal at your lid, which you really don't want. Um, and you have something to add, obviously. Yes, um, it, it should look like this by the time you're at this step, and we'll show you the next one. Well, there really isn't any other steps at this point. All we're gonna do is make sure that we have our barrier between the vinegar and the lid. Do you want to label it? I mean, when you keep the flowers whole, it's usually pretty basic. Uh, it's pretty easy to determine what's inside. So I'll just do this and then grab a lid of some kind. And then you seal your lid on like you normally would, except the parchment paper is now acting as a barrier in between the metal lid and the vinegar. And if you're making tinctures at home, you also want to do this as well. It's what? really important too, to keep it in a cool, dark place um, and shake it every time you think about it. Why? And when, why, what? Why would the acid in the apple cider vinegar eat away? Now, this is well, something we should know. <laughs> Acids in general tend to eat away at a lot of materials, right? If you were to stick your hand in acid, it would eat away at your flesh. Not this type of acid, it would have to be a stronger one. Um, and but it could, um yeah it could destroy the pan uh, maybe so that is it that is our very simple video on making chai flour vinegar for salad dressings i think um, we spilled this on the floor well, i don't oh, no. think so oh, no. oh, no. thank oh, no. you so very much for watching um i really appreciate you guys continuing to tune in and watch these videos as my channel grows it's i'll try to share more and more of what we do on a regular basis around here a lot of herbal medicine some homesteading and in this case a fun homeschool activity as well so there is our end product That's getting it'll be a few weeks before you start to see that really pretty kind of purple color that we're looking for Ooh, purple. <laughs> so until next time again thank you for watching uh, you can click that subscribe button if you like what i'm putting out you can also follow me on facebook instagram Twitter and all that jazz. And uh, I will see you on the next video, which should be later this week as well. I'm hoping to do one on ground ivy. So thanks so much for watching. And you can click the next video if you want to see the ground ivy one, but not now, because we haven't made it yet. Thank you very much for watching. And you guys take care and have a great day.